Hey bot builders, I'm Gordy from BotPress. Do you want your bot embedded as a part of your website and not just as a pop-up in the corner? This is the video for you. Today we're going to talk about how you can put your chatbot inside the content of your website instead of as a pop-up in the bottom corner and how to make sure that your bot talks first and starts the conversation off right. Let's dive into things. We'll get started on the bot side. I have our helpful bot here. This is a bot that just acts like ChatGPT. I can ask it, how far away is Mars? And it gives me a pretty good answer. But I had to talk first in this example. To make the bot talk first, we will add a trigger. To add a trigger, we can either right click and select trigger, or we can open up the side tray, scroll to the bottom, and click and drag a conversation start trigger into the flow. Then we hook it up to where we want our flow to begin, publish our bot, and that's it. Now our bot will speak first, just like this, when we open a chat. How can we get this chat bot into our website just like this? Well, we've got some help in the documentation. If we look over in the side under web chat customization, there is chat bot inside a div. And we have some code here at the bottom that we can copy and paste from. So I'm going to take this entire iframe and I'm going to copy this whole thing. Uh, if you're not familiar with web design, an iframe is basically a way to take a different website, squish it down, and put it into another website. Kind of like opening a window in the larger website from which you can view the other website. We will take that iframe and we will put it into our website just where we want the chatbot to go. So without the iframe, my website will look like this. Here we go. Where when we talk to the bot, there's just a big blank hole. And we want to put that iframe code where it is on the website we want the bot. In this case, it's right here. I'm going to paste, and there we go. But there's a few more things we need to do. We need to add our bots, bot ID and client ID. Otherwise, it's just going to divert to a generic bot that I'm not even sure exists. So my favorite way to get the bot ID is actually in your admin panel. Under integrations, you go to configurable, and from this code, we can easily copy and paste the bot ID and put it in here. And the client ID from right here. All right, with our bot's bot ID and client ID plugged into the code, when we scroll down, we should see our bot. Look at that. How far away is Mars? Okay, and we get the same answer. Now, this code comes with its own CSS down here, and I don't really like this black, so I'm going to remove that CSS. And now we should get the generic bot CSS. Yep, just like that. I think that blends a bit better into the website. All right, and there we have it. It's a very quick and easy process to get your chatbot from a little icon in the corner to an embedded part of your website. And we've got some great documentation to help out. This video is part of a series about how we can use triggers to get some really cool interactions between your bot and your website. And if you can't wait for the next one, join us on our Discord. There's a bunch of experts like me and other people there to help you out and answer your bot questions, give advice, or just generally hang out. It's a great place to be. If you don't want to hang out, though, on the Discord, there will be links to where you can download this website and this bot to get you started in your bot project. And until next time, happy bot building.